They don't pay my telephone bills. Pay my telephone. I wish they did. I don't think they do. I don't do. What's up, Apple It's your girl, Joy, back with another banger. Just wanted to hop on here real quickly. Today is, I'm not even gonna say what day it is because you know how I roll. I may not get this up until next year. Period. And all my things up. So how y'all doing? You doing okay? Calm down, calm down. Calm down. My face a little puffy. You know how it is when I first get in here, okay? Uh, I have to put the cones out. I have morning duty. You know I get excited about my morning duty because I love waving to the parents and stuff. So I tell one parent today, this is one little boy. He is so adorable. I mean, just adorable. And um, he'll always stay after school to help me plug the Chromebooks back in and organize the Chromebooks at the end of the day. And his mom always gives me a teacher appreciation gift. Always thoughtful, always thinks about me, right? And so I been forgetting to email her to thank her and so I emailed her yesterday I said I want to thank you so much for the gift and then blah 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 I'm thinking about me blah 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 and I said well I'll be teaching two eighth grade classes next year and I'm not sure if your son um, wants to stay with me or do another year but if he doesn't you know it's just a joy um, having him in my class I just adore him so much and she email me back she was like oh my gosh I just told my son his face just lit up we would love for him to be with you another year blah 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 just warmed my heart and then I also have a few teachers uh kids in my class and sometimes that can be interesting dynamics <laughs> and I have one um I have a boy I have I have a couple of girls and I think one or two boys and their parents work here and so one parent, I keep meaning to write him a thank you note because it really touched my heart. And I was talking to the dad one day and sometimes the son is a struggle. Sweet, sweet, sweet boy, but he has his highs and lows, but he has a good heart, good spirit, and he's, he's really sweet. And so he was like, well, um, you know, somebody told me that you'll be teaching eighth grade next year or having an eighth grade class. I'm like, yeah. I said, I'll have two eighth grade classes next year. He's like, you know, I want my son to stay with you. I want him to have you. And I was like, really? He was like, yeah, you hold the kids accountable. You know, you stick to it, you're fair. And I was like, well, that really warmed my heart. It really, it almost brought me to tears because for a teacher to say that, um, and you know, his son, it has, it has been, it's, it's been a roller coaster, um, for a teacher to say that they still want their child to have me as their teacher. Um, it really, I, I thought that was the highest form of a compliment. So that warmed my heart. <laughs> so enough about school, 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 school. I've been trying to get Bobby to come up here. She says, oh, I'm going to have to go to my, um, to her old job Bobby's back home I'm going to my old job this, you know they want me to come back for the summer blah 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 and she was supposed to come to school with me today I was like no just say you don't want to come up to the school today because you're going just to talk to your job they're open all night just say you don't want to come let's let's keep it 100 I mean but that's fine she she did come up here and um, spoke to the kids all day, as some of you have seen. If you didn't see that, you need to go look at that video. She did an awesome job. And then, uh, so she's home. Uh, she got home, I think she got home on Saturday. So she's been ripping and running, and she set a goal to run 100 miles every day. Well, <laughs> let me take that back, let me take that back to run 100 miles within a certain amount of time. And so uh, so she's been doing that. She's been getting on the treadmill that does not incline. So we have a little something that's supposed to arrive today. So we'll see. Mm -mm -mm. I'll let you know about that and my journey with this new thing that's coming in the mail. 
yeah, it's being shipped. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. <laughs> and then uh, Clinton, he's back home. As I told some of you, Clinton is my son, for those who don't know. And I initially kicked him out um, about two years ago. It took him a while to get on his feet. He eventually enrolled in college and got himself a job. But I think things got a little tough. And, you know, I helped him set up his little apartment and stuff after a while, after a while, because we had to rebuild our relationship because I think he was hurt. Um, I think we were both hurt. But sometimes kids don't realize that. Sometimes it hurts the parents more than it hurts them. <laughs> Just like a, a pow pow. This is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. I really think it does. So he asked to come back for a little while. And I was like, y you need to have a plan. So... <laughs> I don't know what the plan is, but then again, I, I do understand his situation, and I'm, I'm trying, but I'm not trying. In my head, I'm gonna do it, but it just doesn't happen because he doesn't have. He needs a cell phone and he needs a car, and 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 so I gotta find him something that has such a horrible horrible experience with my other daughter's car that I'm just leery or I just don't have the time to look for something I look on Facebook marketplace so if you know other places where I could look uh online he looks on Craigslist and then it's just a matter of going and driving far to look at <sighs> sometimes I wish there was you know like the like someone else that could like do that stuff you know, cars is not my thing you know what i mean right cars is not my thing I, I don't know does it look nice <laughs> how the wheels look you know so I, I don't know it's i'm not pat ugh. i don't know what i'm saying so i see some of the same patterns that i saw before um so i'm just trying to be patient because I know I need to arm him with the tools in order to be successful. And until I arm him with those tools, I really feel as though I need to have several seats until I could, you know, really help him out the right way. So until he gets the, the phone and a car, a little cash car, just something to get to point A to point B, I feel as though I, I, I don't have much to say. I got to arm him with the tools before I be like, uh-uh, well, uh, you need to, you need to, you know, so let's see what he does, but I will give him a list of things to do, and he'll do them, the kitchen is always clean, um, he'll cook, he'll clean up, so he, he, he's trying to earn his keep, so, you know, and I was like, well, Clay, why don't you put some ads, you know, on Craigslist that you can help people, you know, clean up their garage or help with things that, you know, uh, older people that need help. So I'm going to get there. You better take an Uber. So, I don't know. So, I'm just being patient on that. Cindy's getting ready for graduation. Then she's going to camp the day after graduation. Then she does that. It's a, it's a, um... A Christian camp and I think they travel to different locations so I don't I don't know but she's really really excited she had to do a full interview for that so uh, I was I had an interesting conversation I'm all over the place y'all I'm just giving y'all all the tea let me see how long I've been on here okay so listen 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 child I need to go out there and put those cones up is that light bulbing y'all my little make the days count they're 14 days <laughs> So now we have, I'm going to say, I'm not going to count today. So we have 12 days in a wake up. <coughs> a wake up that's like 13. Okay, then my camera is about to die. But I just wanted to say, in order to keep your peace, this is just my strong belief. You know, you believe what you want, whatever. But in order to keep your sanity and your peace of mind and your spirit even keel i think that is important <laughs> to understand that your expectations that you put on someone else will cause you stress because if they're not doing the things that you feel as though they should be doing or they're not acting the way you think they should be acting you know adult whoever you all you're doing is putting that stress on yourself because you're putting your your expectations on another person no, you need to put your expectations on yourself. And therefore, when the other person doesn't do what you think they should be doing, boom, it causes you to get an attitude.
mm -mm. It, it's, it's, it's work, but I think that, you know, you have to be able to detach yourself from not getting upset and adding that extra stress on your heart, your mind, your nerves, child. Uh-uh. So once you learn how to stop expecting other people to do what you think they should be doing or how they should be acting or reacting to a situation, mm -mm. because that's not what you would do. Mm -mm. Once you learn that, you're going to be okay. Just let it go. Just let it go. I'm just like road rage. I don't understand road rage. I don't understand it at all. Um, I was talking with uh, Bay Daddy on the way to work, and we were talking about relationships. And I'm like, hey, I have open mind. Whatever works for one person, if that works for you, have at it. Let's just say it's an open relationship. Hey, if that's your cup of tea and you not hurt nobody, do you, boo? Yeah, okay, have fun with that. I don't have nothing to do with me because I know a relationship. They do have an open, open relationship, and they are very much in love. I, I just love them as a couple, but what they do is their business, and there's no shade or no judgment. I think we need to stop passing judgment on people, especially if it's not hurting anyone, and it works for other people, whatever it is, religion, um, whatever it is. If it works for them, just is their business and some people like oh they spend a lot of money okay that's their money what they do with their coin that's their coin it has nothing to do with me they don't pay my bills <laughs> they don't pay my telephone bills pay my dollar i wish they did i don't think they do oh, i don't do i don't know the words to any song i know little clips anyway my battery <clears throat> is flashing which means it's dying but have a wonderful day work on detaching yourself from the expectations of others. Don't put what you think they should do on you. So when they don't do it, you're, you're frustrated. No, just focus on what you can control, which is you, okay? No shade, no shade. That's them, it don't have nothing to do with you, and they're not paying your bills. Period, sis, point blank, what? You better Google me, boo. You better ask somebody. Bye, y'all!